five, four, three, two, one. Engines full power. And lift off. Go Falcon. Go IMAP. Swiffo L1 and go Corruptors. And we are flying three new missions on a million mile journey to track space weather. Good looking flight so far. Our tracking cameras getting a great shot as this mission climbs into the sky. We'll be looking now for those engines to throttle down as we go through Max Q, the time of maximum dynamic pressure on Falcon the vehicle. Falcon 9 power and telemetry are nominal. Stage separation confirmed. And there it goes. On the left side of your screen, you can see the first stage booster falling away now and on the right side our second stage flying IMAP, Swiffo L1 and Carruthers. To start off with before we do our transfer into their higher orbit. Bearing separation confirmed. There go the fairings and now you can see yep. all three spacecraft revealed. Trailing there. Uh, this landing burn is scheduled to start Take in just a few landing. seconds. There it is, starting up. This will last about 25 seconds, and this will reduce the remaining speed of the vehicle for a soft touchdown on the drone ship. Just read the instructions. The booster is also equipped with four landing legs that will deploy for a vertical touchdown. So keep an eye out for that just prior to landing. Landing leg deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. Beautiful touchdown there of the first stage, and that marks the second landing for this booster. That is a pretty cool image right there. IMAP deploy confirmed. There we go. We IMAP, IMAP has deployed. separated, beginning its mission to map to the solar frontier and reveal how the sun shapes our space environment. Swifo L1 deploy confirmed. Awesome, there we go. That is cool. Carruthers separating, beginning its mission to capture the faint ultraviolet glow of Earth's outer atmosphere. 